This is the 2017-18 exam in Introduction to Mechanical Engineering and this is question 2. It looks like this. So start by just, um, I would always start a question like this by drawing out the sketch just so I'm clear in my mind what's going on. We've got some force FA acting upwards, some force FB acting just to the left of downwards. And that angle there we're told is 35 degrees. And we've got another force FC, and we don't know the angle for FC. And we're told FA equals 200 newtons, and FB equals 150 newtons. Um, the way we're going to solve this problem, we need to find FC and this angle theta here. The way we're going to solve this problem is by breaking things up into horizontal and vertical components and then using the principles of horizontal and vertical equilibrium. So I'm going to start uh, just by looking at FB on its own. And if I look at FB, I've got a triangle that looks like this. Uh, this is the vertical component of FB, and this is the horizontal component. And this angle here I know is 35 degrees. I'm not sure I've drawn my 35 degrees quite right there, but that doesn't really matter. Um, now I can say, I need to do trigonometry to find out my two unknowns. So I can say sine of 35 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite here is this one, and the hypotenuse is the longest side, is that one there. I mark on my right angle, it's the side opposite the right angle. Um, so that equals FBH over 150. And rearranging that, I get that FBH equals 150 times sine 35. And that is now something I can put into my calculator. That comes out to be 86.0. I'll just leave it as 86.0 newtons. Um, cos 35, I need the other side, so this time we'll use cos. That's adjacent over hypotenuse, which equals FB, the vertical component, divided by 150. And therefore, that vertical component is 150 times cos 35 equals... Uh, 1 to 2.9, I'm going to call that. Um, and I just want to also think this force FB here is pulling down and to the left. So the horizontal component will be to the left and the vertical component will be down. Um, that's most of what I need now because I can say okay let's use um, horizontal equilibrium tells me that FA plus FB plus FC equals zero another way of thinking about this is all the forces acting to the left have to equal all the forces acting to the right um, sorry those should all be the horizontal components of those. FA acts straight up. It has no horizontal components, purely vertical force. So that's zero. Um, I'm going to make forces acting to the left positive. So that's plus 86.0. FC is going to act to the right. I can see. So I'll say minus FCH equals zero. Basically, the amount that this force pulls to the left has to equal the amount that this force pulls to the right. Um, and we get that FCH equals 86.0 newtons. Doing vertical equilibrium, I can say FAV plus FBV plus FCV equals zero. I'm going to make forces acting up positive and down negative. So that's 200 minus 122.9. Uh, this is acting down, so I'm going to put it in as minus FCV equals zero. And when I rearrange that, I'll get FCV equals 200 minus 122.9. 
which equals 77.1 newtons. So what we've got now is another triangle. This side here is the horizontal side, that's 86, that's 77.1. And now what we don't know is the magnitude of FC, that's that line there, and we don't know the angle theta, but we can calculate those. Magnitude of FC is by Pythagoras the square root of 86 squared plus 77.1 squared, and that equals. one one five point five newtons and tan theta equals opposite over adjacent so theta equals tan to the minus one seventy seven point one divided by eighty six that's opposite over adjacent And that is 41.2 degrees. And those are my two answers. The things I was asked for are the magnitude of FC and the angle of theta. I'll just underline those to show that they are my final answers. And that's the complete solution.